done two or three videos on gym culture. And this time I want to talk about filming in the gym. I, I guess this has been going on for maybe a year or so. The, the big hype on TikTok mostly is females putting a camera at an angle or far away where they're going to film themselves doing a certain exercise and uh, their clothes are, um, maybe they're showing a little more skin or they're tight. Anyway, um, clothes that uh, I guess you could wear, work out in, but they're, um, people are accusing them of wearing clothes that are a little skimpy, I guess you could say. So, or they may put the video on a man that's behind them. And now they're going to go do their exercise. Now, there could be a reason for this. Uh, you're watching your form. But, and I'm going to get to our clubs and what our policy is on filming in the gym. Because you know I own multiple health clubs. And uh, we've never had a problem with filming in the gym. But I have a suggestion if you want to film in the gym. Because uh, we don't have a problem with it. And I'll tell you what to do if you do want to film in the gym. Or take videos or whatever of yourself. Uh, for whatever reason, <laughs> you know, I, I do a lot of them, but I'm doing shorts. I'm doing tips on, and I, I'm, I'm teaching people and giving them my opinion on what to do in the gym or how to be healthier. So, uh, my videos are not supposed to be about me. Hopefully you don't think that they are where it sounds like some of these videos there's a guy named uh, Joey Swole who's he's got some pretty good content and makes some really good points. It's pretty funny. Um, I like his content. Anyway, he's mostly on TikTok, I think, and on Instagram. And so he gets these people that have uh, kind of got got people in a, in their film or in their video, and it's a gotcha moment. Hey, stop looking at me. You're a creep. You know, you're staring at me. Well, it's kind of a trap because they're kind of luring them to look at people. And, you know, it's human nature to look at something that moves or something that's unique or different in the gym or anywhere. I've given this example before. I'm driving. I'm in the fitness business. I've been in gym since I was 16. I look at people, not in a bad way, but I'm, I'm analyzing where they are in their fitness journey or, Hey, that person's got visceral fat or, Hey, that person's lost some weight. They look really good. Or that's a good physique or that's a good figure or whatever. Uh, it's not because I'm going to ask him out on a date, male or female. I'm married, happily married, and I'm, I'm all good. So, but I am in the business and I analyze those things driving down the road. My wife's right next to me. And, uh, I see someone jogging, you know, I look at them. Why? I'm analyzing their gait. Oh, that's got, that person's got a nice stride. Um, and, uh, you know, they're jogging with good technique. Uh, they look good or, Hey, you know what? They're a little overweight, but way to go. They're out there jogging. It's natural for me to look. Am I going to stop the car and go run up to them and grab them or ask them out or no, I'm not. But it's, it's, I just think it's human nature in the gym. Somebody drops something or somebody's doing a weird exercise that you've never seen before. And people do weird exercises that maybe don't make sense in the gym. Maybe they don't know what they're doing or maybe they're trying to get attention. Um, or maybe you're dancing around the gym. There's no reason to dance around the gym. The gym is not a dance hall. Now, you can if you want. I don't care. And you can film it if you want. I don't care about that either. I don't see what the purpose of posting it on social media would be uh, if you're trying to look at your form or see what your progress. And, you know, there are mirrors in gyms. There's mirrors everywhere. And if you're doing this to watch your form, you can use a mirror. And just kind of watch it right there. But if you do want to film yourself in the gym, try to be courteous to other people. And it, 
it sounds to me like in the last year, there's a lot of guys that are freaked out in the gym now because these women are catching them in this gotcha moment and saying, you're a creep. You're staring at me. Well, you, you stick your butt in their face. You know, they're maybe they're trying not to look anyway. I'm not judging either side of this. Um, there's some jerks I'm sure on both sides. There's probably some people that are trying to catch people in their videos. There's probably, uh, you know, people that are gawking a little too much. Um, but I've been accused of staring at people in the gym and the gym, our gyms are pretty big. And when you look across the gym, there's a lot of people in between you and whatever you're looking at. That doesn't mean that someone's staring at you, but I had a guy who was an older guy and uh, I'm in my sixties and he's probably 15 years older than me he'd go in there. He doesn't work out. He would just kind of sit in at one of the desks and that's odd. Okay. Look, why is that guy sitting at a desk? He's not exercising. I see him in here all the time. So he goes and tells the, the uh, manager, that guy's staring at me all the time. And uh, I didn't realize I was. So um, I certainly wasn't going to ask him out or, uh, you know, nothing. You know, it's just people look at things. They look at people. It's okay. And uh, maybe there's a little too much sensitivity on some people's part with uh, you're looking at this or you're looking at that. And, you know, I'm an old guy, you know, I'm filming in the gym. I'm, I'm not assuming that people are looking at my butt, you know, to be honest with you, you know, I go to the beach sometimes, but I, I don't see anybody lining up to look at me, take my shirt off. It's, am I a fat slob? No. But it's nothing that people want to take a picture of me. Oh, look at that 60 plus year old guy with his shirt off. Uh, no, they're, they're not lining up to look at me. I'm very aware of that. <laughs> so just be cool in the gym. Um, try not to judge. And this stuff, I've never seen it be a problem in, in our gyms. I just haven't. But if you want to film, it's okay. I mean, we require our managers, our personal trainers, we require them to do videos and, you know, Flex Friday and whatever Tuesday, whatever Monday. It's required of them. It's just part of the marketing to get information out into the public about what the gyms are doing. They're required to. But if you want to film, just it's no big deal. Say, you, you go, you know, ask the manager, Hey, you mind if I film and just letting you know, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing it. Great. Fine. We don't care. Um, so we do not have a no film policy. We don't have a no phone policy. I guess some health clubs do because of this, what's going on with the women trying to catch people. And then they call them perverts or you know, creeps or staring at me and yelling at each other. I have not seen that in a gym. I'm glad it's never happened in our gym or any of our gyms. And um, I don't expect it to. Uh, so anyway, that's what you do. If you want to film, be respectful to other people in the gym. A lot of people, you know, don't put your 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 phone or your camera or your video on other people, especially intentionally. Um, it's an accident. Sometimes people walk in front. It's okay, but just be polite. And what I'm saying is don't assume the worst of other people in the gym, because you know what? The gym is a positive place. And if you assume the worst of most people in a gym, you're usually going to be wrong. 